Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, according to the date floating above my head, uh, Google Chrome has been officially in beta for less than a month, and some of you are already using it as your default browser. I am not, and even though I know Code Weavers released a proof of concept virtual machine that would allow uh, Google Chrome, the Windows binary, to run on Mac OS X or Linux, uh, I would completely avoid it at all costs. Wait for Google to compile a binary native to your platform before giving it a stab. Um, I wrote last night my CPU Magazine article that won't appear in the magazine for a couple months because that's the nature of print. I've been a columnist in CPU Magazine since the uh, inception of that particular periodical. And uh, I wrote about Google Chrome and gave five really strong points as to why you need to be paying attention to it, you know, beyond the fluff. And one of the points I want to call out right now, because it's something that I think a few people are overlooking and they don't realize how important it is. It's not just about the browser, but specifically one component in that browser. As you visit websites that uh, are your favorite websites, um, you may seem to be slowed down because of the amount of script that is running on any particular web page. And it's all tied into potentially JavaScript performance. And that is where it's going to get interesting in the coming months. Google came out and they said they're going to be going with the V8 JavaScript engine. They've coded this themselves. Uh, this, of course, is now part of WebKit. But WebKit itself had been talking about Squirrelfish and that's the name, of, the name of their JavaScript engine, and V8 leapfrog Squirrelfish in terms of performance. And then, just this past week, uh, WebKit came out and said, we've now got Squirrelfish Extreme, which increases JavaScript performance even more uh, compared to Squirrelfish and then uh, uh, compared to V8. And Mozilla, of course, was not sitting out as well. They said, hey, in, in the next version of Firefox, we're going to have a, a new uh, a JavaScript engine in there as well, and, and poor Internet Explorer is sitting on the sidelines. I mean, you can't even put Internet Explorer on the chart in terms of JavaScript performance. It's that bad. Even Internet Explorer 8 Beta 2 is that bad. It's like, it's laughable. So we're about to enter a new period in the browser wars, and that's specifically on the battlefield of JavaScript performance. So again, Google releases a beta browser with a good JavaScript engine. Some, uh, you know, that's the uh, essentially the part of the browser that would execute any kind of JavaScript running on a web page. And let's face it, a lot of your favorite sites are probably running JavaScript right now. You don't know it, but when you switch to a browser that handles JavaScript more efficiently, you'll see it right away. In fact, some of my friends said, you know, I'm using Google Chrome now on, on, on Windows. They'd say this. Uh, because they use Gmail and Facebook, and it's so much faster. It's because you've got a better JavaScript, uh, better JavaScript engine sitting inside of a beta browser compared to a final version of what most of them may be using. That would be Firefox, and and certainly way better than Internet Explorer ever is or was with JavaScript. Um, maybe this is going to light a fire under Microsoft's foot. I don't know. No matter uh, when. WebKit came out and they said, okay, now we've got Squirrelfish Extreme in nightly builds of the WebKit browser, which you can download for Linux, Mac, or Windows. Uh, this is essentially the engine upon which Google Chrome is built and upon which Safari is built, and, and it's all open source. When they announced Squirrelfish Extreme, I was like, wow, I, I've, I've got to try that. And so they haven't officially released it, you know, as a final version, but you can download nightly builds from webkit.org for any platform that you want, any platform, and try it for yourself. And since uh, Google Chrome is not currently available for Mac OS X as a native binary, uh, I'm going to be using WebKit as my default web browser. The issue with updating the same utility every single day because there's new nightly builds is that it becomes a little... <clears throat> troublesome. So uh, I went searching the web to see if I could find a utility to help me automate the task of downloading uh, the latest version of the WebKit nightly build and then installing it and being done with it. And that's when I ran across Night Shift. And apparently they're up to version 1.6, even though the website says uh, 1.5 right now. What this is, is a utility that you can launch. Now I, it's it's only on Mac OS X, but don't worry, I'm not going to leave you Windows users in the cold. Uh, Night Shift will first check to see if 
you've got the latest build of the WebKit nightly build installed. It says the nightly build appears to be identical to the local version. How do you wish to proceed? I'll just hit cancel. But it's, it runs through this kind of automated task of uh, downloading, installing, and then letting you move on with your life. And it's great. It runs perfectly. And in fact, uh, this author has also got a uh, utility, uh, this is only for Mac as well, called Firefix. And that does the same thing for Firefox because Firefox also has nightly builds that you can download from the server. But isn't it easier to use a utility rather than doing things manually? Well, or so I think. So there you go. Firefix and Night Shift, they've got a couple of other utilities, including Safari Icon or Safari Con. And that allows you to tweak certain uh, aspects of the user interface for Safari, including icon themes. I mean, go figure, icon is in the title of that particular utility. That, again, only for Mac OS X. But I know you're saying, well, Chris, how come you only feature Mac stuff? Well, again, let me go back and say that as of this date, uh, Google Chrome is only available for Windows. Not going to complain. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not having an issue with that. So I wanted to point you to chromepluginsorg chromepluginsorg This is not an official Chrome blog, but I do believe that the people who are working on Google Chrome in an official capacity are keeping their community up to date on chromepluginsorg Kind of neat. You find out all about the updates, uh, more importantly, tips and tweaks, downloads. In fact, uh, they show you how to do a Google Chrome dual view between two different websites, uh, different Chrome command line switches. Let me try it again. I said line switches. It sounded like I said lime switches. Two different things. There's also a Chrome theme for Firefox that you can download, apparently. Uh, if I scroll down, there's a Chrome backup and profile tool. Parhelia tools. And th this is where I clicked over to the, 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 this website. Uh, they've also got something called Thunderfix. This is not from Google Chrome, but uh, a company that made a backup tool for Google Chrome has also got a utility for Mozilla Thunderbird that allows you to uh, fix certain performance issues that you may be running into. So, wow, it's kind of neat how you just kind of stumble into different features and utilities related to web browsing. Um, you know, maybe that's going to help someone out there. Oh yeah, there's also Chrome forums they set up in an unofficial capacity. I've seen a few Chrome related blogs, but they seem to be more laden with advertising uh, than anything else. Uh, this is the one that I believe is the quote unquote proper one to get. Uh, now, speaking of Firefox, I'm going to wrap this in here too, because uh, I'm just going to make it an all out web browser discussion thing. We've got a few people in our geeks community who've been hard at work at some, uh, well, add ons for Firefox. And this person over on geeks.perillo.com. Uh, his name, he's, I believe he's using his real name, uh, is Wayne Drescher Jr. Uh, he's working on Fox Geek, and it's going to be a theme for Firefox. It looks, it's looking pretty good, uh, specifically for geeks. So he's he's making it for you, and it's it's clean, and it looks cool. Uh, I won't be able to run it at least the Windows version because I'm on Mac OS X, but I'll certainly be giving him feedback, and I know he's going to be open to it as well. And then just this past weekend. I got an email uh, from from another geek. This is it's kind of neat um, how everybody's kind of creating these things. Uh, there is a Firefox toolbar now available on addons.mozilla.org. You just look for geeks. Kevin Fourteen Man is the person who basically created this toolbar for Firefox that allows you to more easily browse the pages on geeks.perillo.com. And I gave him some feedback, and I know he's open for feedback. This is his first, it was, I think it's kind of neat. This is his first extension to Firefox ever. So I'm, I'm, I am uh, quite honestly honored that it would be for the geeks community. I'm also looking forward to the theme. Uh, Firefox is not my default browser. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to support the community that is, is totally into that. Oh, and there's also a new geeks uh, Mac OS X widget. So you can keep up to date on all the latest happenings of the geek community. I, I also gave this particular uh, person, Christian, some feedback. So tons of geeks are just totally into coding things. I would love to see a Google Chrome skin for geeks, especially if we can integrate it with like different geeky scripts, you know, from userscripts.org and whatnot. We can make it the geekiest web browser ever. Oh, come on. There, I, I threw down the gauntlet. Someone needs to pick it up, make it look cool, make it run well. I mean, you can do it. It's all open source. Come on. Who's the geek that's going to make the world's geekiest web browser? It, I don't know what we can call it. We can just Maybe we just call it Geeks, world's geekiest web browser. It's, that's, 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 that's what we can just, uh, 
we can just say right up front. Anyway, so there's a whole bunch of, of browsing information for you. Uh, and uh, certainly you're, you're welcome to pass along any tips, tricks. Maybe you've built a utility or an add-on to any one of the web browsers out there in the world. Maybe you've got some perspectives. Feel free to pass them along. Chris at Perillo.com is my email address. You're also welcome to join us in the community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Growing by leaps and bounds, might I say. Uh, I was quite surprised to see, if I go back, I think just a few minutes ago, we officially, and I think what we've been around for less than a month, too, much like Google Chrome, although I think there are far more users uh, of Google Chrome than uh, in Geeks, um, we have officially passed 4,800 Geeks at geeks.perillo.com. And uh, they all look pretty geeky. Boy, I tell you, maybe you don't feel like you're a geek. Maybe you think you're geekier than us because you don't join us. Or maybe you have joined us and you're proving that you're a geek. You know, the geekiest thing I think I've seen, and I, I featured it today. Sorry, I, I just can't stop. Um, someone, who is it? This is, uh, what's her name? She looks a lot, the other hawk is her name. And uh, she looks a lot, and I don't, hopefully this doesn't offend. She looks a lot like Kat, uh, my co-host from Call for Help. She looks a lot like Kat. The first time I saw her, I'm like, whoa, it looks like Kat. She just uploaded a video to Geeks, check this out, where she is lip syncing to, uh, if I can fast forward it enough, She's lip syncing to Weird Al Yankovic's uh, Like a Surgeon there on uh, geeks.perillo.com. And I don't think it gets any geekier than that. I used to do that all the time. I used to lip sync to Weird Al. <laughs> so we've got 4,800 geeks doing geeky things and uploading geeky things to geeks.perillo.com. You're welcome to join us. And, of course, you're also welcome to join us in the chat room. You never really know what we're going to be talking about. Oh, she's going to be so em The other hawk is going to be so embarrassed when she finds out I featured her video in this video. You can hear like a surgeon going on. You hear that humming? It's going on. <laughs> anyway, you're welcome to join us in the chat room 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.